Okay, I'm back. This is the second video that I'm filming today. So, um, it is an American Threads try on haul. So, I never used to shop at American Threads, but I recently discovered it. And um, they have a store at the Domain in Austin. That's the one that I shop at. And I found some really cute stuff. Um, I've been kind of spending a lot of money there because their stuff is not cheap. Like, it's kind of on the pricier side, but it's nice, so I like it, and I don't mind shopping there, just, you know, here and there occasionally. So we have an American Threads try-on haul. Um, before I get started, I'm Tiana. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok. Um, I post a lot on TikTok now, like if you wanna see me actually style this stuff, then follow me on there, but um, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get started in the haul or on the haul. Let's get started on the haul. Let's get started trying on the clothes in the haul. So let's just go ahead and start. So the first thing that I have is I'm not trying this on because I wore this in a recent vlog. It was my ACL vlog. So if you want to see it on, um, then watch that. It's like a six minute vlog. So but um yeah it's a stress this is hard to get on let me tell you so it's very strappy you tie it around the neck and then you tie it in the back like this and my mom had to help me put it on because when you're putting it on sometimes the strings come out of the loops and whatnot but um also, the other thing that I want to say is with American Threads, they don't have everything that's in the store on the website. It's kind of more of a boutique style thing. So sometimes you'll go in and then you'll find stuff in there that they don't even have on the website. So it's, it's a unique shopping experience. It's very cool. So I love that store. Very trendy, um, super trendy stuff. Very, you know up and coming, latest fashions, whatever. So that's the first thing that I have. I think this dress was like 40 bucks, but I literally bought that the morning of ACL and then I wore it and it was pretty cute. I got a lot of compliments from like the little festival girls. So we have that and then this top, um, I haven't tried this on actually ever, but it's just a black, crop top in a size small it still has the tag on it it was $37 and it's one of those that has a little cutout and then you tie it so it's a very cropped it's just a black little crop top and I bought this because this is the type of piece that I would wear multiple times like it's a staple piece because I have a lot of pattern stuff, pattern bottoms, and then black bottoms that are high-waisted that this would go really nicely with. So that's what I envisioned this for. So I have this. It's very cute. A little bit overpriced in my opinion, but the quality seems to be good. I feel like you could buy this on Shein for, you know, $7, but... I'm sure that this is more ethically sourced and whatnot. So we have that. And then I ordered this online because I wanted to get free shipping. So I ordered my birthday dress and then this top because, oh my gosh, my nose is itching. Okay, so this top is just a plain kind of like a button up, goes like this. These have been pretty trendy lately. It's also cropped. So this could be worn with some high-waisted jeans or a plaid skirt and Air Force Ones. I think that'd be cute too. Um, so many different ways to style it because it's just a white button up, but I really liked it. And I got it in a size small, it's kind of fitted. And I don't remember how much this was, probably in the $30 range, just because most of the American Threads tops are like $30, $40, depending on what the style is, but pretty cute basic top and then moving on this is kind of like the main piece of the entire haul this is a red dress this is what I'm planning to wear on my 23rd birthday I'm just going out to dinner with I think maybe a friend or two and then my parents let me try to zip this up but 
the older you get, the less less important birthdays are i think my 21st was the last birthday that i actually did something but here's the dress i'm not sure if this is still online this might be like a boutique only item but red is my color this is my favorite color to wear and this can be worn either on the shoulders or off the shoulders i'm definitely going to wear it off the shoulders because i think it's more flattering that way and I think this one was, how much was it? It doesn't have the price, but I'm guessing like 60, 70, probably 50, 60, 70 dollars. I don't really remember. That's a pretty big range, so sorry about it, but it's really cute. I like it a lot and I got it in a size small. I think I got everything actually. Yeah, every single thing I got is in a size small, but some of their dresses run super freaking small like you really have to go and try stuff on because i think they said it's i messaged a girl who went to unt that works there and she said that the sizing is junior sizing so it's not adult sizing so sometimes a small fits me and sometimes a small is like way too small so this small happened to fit me but i love this dress i just think it's so pretty I'm excited to wear this for dinner on my birthday, but that is the dress. And then I picked up this pair of jeans. I have yet to wear them. And these jeans were like $100. This was definitely an impulse purchase because I, yeah, this was the first time I ever walked into American Threads and I was just walking around looking and I saw these. And for some reason I wanted to try them on and then I tried them on and I liked them so I bought them and they were a hundred dollars but they're Levi's and these are the ribcage straight ankle jeans and these run pretty big so I got them in a size 25 usually in jeans I can be either a 26 or a 27 but in these I was a 25 and these are definitely out of my comfort zone because now I'll gravitate towards slim jeans, but these are straight jeans. So they're even bigger than slim. So yeah, like you have to style these with a fitted top in my opinion. So I have yet to wear them, but I don't know. I think it's too, it's definitely too late to return them because I've had them for a while now, but yeah, I'll just have to figure it out. But as you can tell, like, they are kind of wide in the legs. So I'm going to have to figure it out. But this would go well with that black crop top or a bodysuit, probably. A lot of different ways to style. So I'm going to move on. And the next pair of pants are also black. And these are just some vegan leather pants these were 98 dollars so those levi's were 98 these were also 98 this was an early birthday gift from my dad so these are in a size 26 and i bought these because i was contemplating buying those aritzia vegan leather pants for like 150 dollars but i realized i work from home and i don't really go out often enough to you know spend 150 dollars on leather going out pants so i just got these ones these ones were still kind of pricey because i mean it is a hundred dollars for pants but it's not as expensive as the aritzia ones so i felt a lot better about them but they're still really good quality i tried them on in the store and they are you know high-waisted pretty flattering you know they have pockets so they can be worn a variety of ways so i'm excited for those as well and then the last item that i have everything is just chilling on the ground so that's why i keep bending over but this red top so i bought this the same time that i bought those levi jeans and i think that would be a cute outfit the levi jeans this top and then some black mules like those heels you know that everyone's wearing now that would be a solid outfit in my opinion or this with the leather pants or this honestly with pretty much anything because it's just a red top but 
I just think this is so cute. And I realized that pretty much everything in this haul is either black, white, or red, aside from that one festival dress I bought. So I guess I have kind of a color palette going now. I have an aesthetic for this haul, but I really like this top. I just gravitate towards stuff like this. And this one was $36.99, so very flattering. This is definitely something I would wear. It's girly, very flirty, trendy, little cute top. But that is my entire haul from American Threads. I hope this video gets decent views because that was expensive. But I think it's safe to say that I have found a new favorite store um besides obviously lululemon that's gonna be my favorite workout store but i think american threads is now my favorite store for casual dressy slash casual wear so that was the haul now i'm gonna quickly try on everything before i do my homework today but i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see me style these pieces. But that's all for today's video, so I will see you all next time.